In RealFlow 2013, Hybrido setups are incredibly easy. No complex setups involving nodes or settings. It now also works with Alembic, SD and object geometry imported from your 3D platform. By simply adding a domain node in the relationship editor, we have access to the Hybrido solver settings. Creating connections between the geometry and the Hybrido domain that will mean the fluid will react with the geometry. In order for Hybrid O2 to properly collide with your geometry, you need to make sure that the volume representation of the object is accurate enough. It is a good idea to keep all your geometry as simple as possible. So, selecting a geometry object. In the Relationship Editor, we can add the Hybrid O2 emitter to the scene with the selected geometry as a reference. Hybrid O2 works with most forcers and kill demons simply by adding the demon node and connecting it to the Hybrid O node. Hybrid O2 fluid will be emitted from the whole object's volume. This way, it is extremely easy to set up river, streams, floods, etc. The number of particles can easily be controlled by adjusting the cell size parameter of the Hybrid O domain. The cell size parameter has also to be adjusted for the geometry interacting with the fluid. To control all the cell sizes at once, we can make use of the global cell size scale within the Scale Options menu. Hybrido setups now also have an independent tab in the Simulations menu, where we can fine-tune all the desired settings of this solver, including enabling the use of the GPU acceleration for the flip solver. RealFlow 2013 also gives you the ability to launch the simulation to command line from the simulation option menu. Simulating via command line is around 33% faster than via the GUI and allows us to continue working in our scene while the simulation is running. It also allows us to load and review cached results before the simulation ends. Once the simulation is finished, we can preview the results using the OpenGL or Maxwell render. Thanks and enjoy RealFlow 2013.